So this is a first. What's that? Doing a blueprint in the dark? Yes, but also a myth about smuggling in the dark. And we're not talking about your old-timey Barbary Coast pirates. We're talking about modern-day smuggling. Well, tell me about it. Well, according to the viewers, what people are doing is trying to get, let's say, maple syrup across the Canadian border to the United States. And what they'll do is they'll pick a very low-key border crossing and they'll wait till nightfall. Not just any night, very cold, dark, wintry night where it's almost pitch black. They go through the border and they do their entire journey in complete darkness. And bam, you're a smuggler. All right, so the myth that we're testing here is can you drive in the dark without your headlights at speeds and still not hit anything? Sounds like fun to me. It's a technique that's been said to be used by smugglers. Turn off the headlights, hit the gas, race past the border, and no one the wiser. But can it be done in the near pitch dark without coming up proper? I don't know about this one, you guys. I mean, I have my doubts. It's like, yeah, your eyes can adjust to the dark in 20 minutes, but I mean, are they gonna be able to process images just as fast and as accurately as if you had your headlights on? Well, that's what we gotta find out, right? Why don't we do this? We'll do our experiment at an indoor go-kart track. That way we'll have control over the light levels at all times. And we can do one run with headlights and compare it to a run in complete darkness. Go-karts, high speeds in the dark. Sounds like a recipe for disaster to me. Let's do it. As always, there's work to do before the fun starts. These guys are actors, producers, and stagehands in their own drive-in movie. The go-kart track is going to have plenty of twists and turns in it. But since this myth takes place in Canada, we decided we need to add a little Canadian flavor. As we're smuggling maple syrup, we're definitely going to need some maple trees. Pretty fast workers, eh? The trees are strictly scenery, but wild animals could be a deadly hazard to anyone crazy enough to cruise the 49th parallel with the lights off, eh? Now, if you were smuggling maple syrup across the Canadian border, one obstacle you might encounter would be a moose. Now, I've made a moose before. However, that one was made out of solid rubber. It was actually designed to withstand an impact from a real car going 60 miles an hour. Wow! Did you see how high the moose got on that hit? For the record, that's what happens when a car plays chicken with a giant rubber moose. It's a result Tory's not anxious to replicate. I'm going with the material that is going to break away when we hit him with the car. So I'm going to make the moose out of styrofoam. Hurry up, we need those done by lunch. In fact, the team has till nightfall to ready the props for the great syrup smuggle. The moose. Oh. Grant's found a venue that's willing to stay up late. So to put this myth to the test, we couldn't just go out on city streets and drive around with no headlights. That'd be way too dangerous. To test this out, we need a venue that's controlled and repeatable, where we can test things out safely, scientifically, and most importantly, sensibly. But seriously, this is the plan. We're going to drive this course in the dark, once with the headlights on, and then with them off. We're going to be racing against the clock, not against each other. And we're going to try to go as fast as we can without crashing. <laughs> And to make sure we don't remember the course, we're going to drive the first round in one direction. And then the second time around, we'll go completely backwards, because there's no way we can remember that. Sounds like a plan, but let's not put the cart before the moose. They still need to litter the track with some natural impediments. Hiding somewhere around a corner, our surprise moose will test the driver's reaction time. I have to get another one. This one's not trained very well. Yeah, that's good. And drop randomly at the end of a straight bit. Perfect. This log will test their long-range visual acuity. 